All right, so let's go ahead and start recording in a more proper way by starting a new project. Okay, so now that you have a better understanding of overall GarageBand and the functions within them, as well as different types of tracks, now we can begin a new track. And GarageBand makes this a simple process as well. By starting a new project, um, we choose on the left side here. Since we've gone through all of these in the previous videos for Learn to Play, Lesson Store, Magic GarageBand, iPhone Ringtone, we're going to start our own project. Now, like I said, GarageBand makes this a simple process for us by giving us a default or a preset setting to kickstart our project. So if we have a specific idea that we want to start with, that we know we want to start with, let's say you have a guitar, guitar part that you want to lay down and you're not sure what the vocals are yet, you just want to focus on the guitar, um, GarageBand has electric guitar, which automatically opens up a guitar track within your project and gives, as well as gives it a default settings for the electric guitar. Uh, the electric guitar has the amp combos, and we'll go into detail about those a little bit later on. Um, but for right now, I'm just giving you a brief preview of what each of these do. Now, the piano is uh, obviously simply a software instrument piano that um, it will jumpstart you and open up the track and give you the default effects uh, such as reverb or a piano hall type of reverb sound. Um, then we have voice which sets you up with a vocal track, vocal audio track and the defaults within and then loops opens up the loop section on the right side keyboard collection is kind of cool if you have multiple synth ideas that you want to just start out with and you don't want to be bogged down by opening new track opening a new track it just op it automatically starts off with about I don't know the exact amount but it does give you a few synth maybe around eight or so synth synths to play with so that's cool then we have the acoustic instrument which uh, gives you the default settings if you're trying to record an acoustic guitar, um, mainly acoustic guitar, but it doesn't have to be acoustic guitar, anything acoustic like such as percussion or acoustic bass or violin kind of kicks you, kickstarts you uh, in that nature. And then songwriting, if you want to start um, scoring music, if you're uh, more tr classically trained, and then podcast starts you obviously with a podcast that you want to record and I'm pretty sure you could figure out what movie starts you off with. So for now, let's let's hit voice since the only thing I got right now is my voice. Now the new project opens up this. Now you can save it anything you want like um, uh, let's do rad vocals and place it in a folder or somewhere in your, in your hard drive where you know you're gonna uh, find it later on. And with the tempo, signature, and keys, you don't have to focus too much on that. If you do know the tempo, uh, it's more convenient to enter it in now. That way, once uh, GarageBand launches, it's there. You don't have to fix it. But usually these are I don't really concentrate too much on these because based on the song, um, these usually change because either you're going to need to speed it up or the time signature is not correct, even though for the most case, uh, most songs are in 4-4 time signature. Um, don't, don't stress out too much about it. But if you do know all your information beforehand, go ahead, put it in, and uh, it'll jumpstart you even faster. So I'm going to hit create. That brings up a regular garage band session, and I'm just gonna make this full screen. There we go. And we have two tracks to start out with. We have male or female. And there's two differences. Um, the differences are GarageBand gives you default effects, and the male kind of 
caters to a male voice versus a female. Um, and that's pretty much the, the main differences. So whether you're a male or female, you can start recording. So please remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. And if you have any requests, please send them to requests at mahalo.com. Told me that you